Hello everybody, welcome back to Train Sim World 2 once again, continuing from our first look video. Uh, we're not doing sand patch, great. I do want to come back here because I do want to drive the ICE train. Uh, I've been very excited about that, so we're going to do that today. So let's go ahead and pop in here and continue our journey. Uh, a high speed connection is the name of it. And uh, I believe we are going to actually get to see this thing get up to speed. The BR-406 ICE 3M introduction. Okay, so at first it's going to be an introduction. We know how these go. He's going to start saying something to us, I'm sure. Welcome to driver training. Here you will be taken through the operation of an ICE 3M high-speed electric train. That is a beautiful looking train. During this brief introduction, we will go through the train preparation, critical driving controls, and passenger operations. When you are ready, climb aboard to get started. All right, we'll climb aboard to get started. I do uh, have the graphics set back to uh, Ultra once again, because it doesn't matter what uh, I have it set at. I'm still getting frame drops, so there's that. Open the door. Hop on up here. There we go. We'll close the door in a minute. Um, I speak from experience that these doors are super loud when you close them when you're standing next to them, so... We'll do that in a minute once we get up here into the cab. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? The depressed people are here again, once again. Uh, pop up into here. During Sweet. normal operation, this unit draws electricity from the overhead oh, nice. catenary via a pantograph. Ooh. However, since the pantograph is currently in the down position, we have to right. power the initial systems by priming the auxiliary battery. Okay, let's do it. Five seconds. Easy peasy. We have so lights coming on. There we go. Take a seat in the driver's position. Okay. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. I agree. I mean, oh, yep. The See, there's those doors. The direction of travel. My lord. Uh, reverser to forward. There we go. Uh, you now go. Activate the pantograph. You go to raise. You're going to go to close. They showed us Setting this last time. Normal high beams, sweet. For this introduction, you'll be driving into Köln main station to perform passenger operations. Okay. Uh, release the parking brake. There we go. Oh, that's not, that's the train brake. Uh, over here. There we go. The train is now ready to depart. Release the brakes and apply a small amount of power to... There we go. Successful departure. Get 250 of those AP points, baby. Oh, yeah. How's everybody's weekend going so far? It's already over. Man, that uh, the weekends blow in and they leave really, really quick. How sad. Use the throttle to apply more power and reach 10 kilometers an hour. Okay. Let's get her up to 10. There we go. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain the throttle speed off. and reduce component stress and maintenance requirements. Okay. Throttle to off. There it is right there. So now we're coasting. Apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable and safe. There you go. We have another train coming down the line here. That's awesome. We're slowing the train down. What do you want from us? Or maybe they just want us to get there to the platform. Is that what it is? Or do they want us to stop? These introductions, man, they don't tell you sometimes. You're just like, okay, let's just stop it and see what they say. They'd be like, hey, this is how you use brakes. Nope. It's what I kind of figured would be the case uh, to where they are not giving us direction enough. So we're just going to go down here to the platform and say, screw it. And we go to the outside view and enjoy this train because it is a beauty. What is going on with the... Uh, those electric lines over there are looking weird. We do 40. Damn. Look at our guy. He's so classy with his red tie. He is super classy, dude. Keep it classy. A bit more power than that. We know these things, you know, do great. The brakes on these are wonderful. I'm happy with this for right now. Just gonna get it up here to the little red dot for speed wise. But I think this thing will actually hold it. I know these trains have cruise control. 
Well, I'll go ahead and pull our power back. It looks like it may not do that. Go ahead and go throttle off. So we're coasting, as they said to do. And now we're going to add 1A of the train brake. Let's slow us down for this little section here. We got a red signal and 500 meters. Yep, stop location. Yeah, they didn't tell us that, so now we know. That's okay. Figured it out. We did, we did. So I did check out the uh, uh, sand grade patch or sand patch grade, <laughs> sand grade patch. Uh, and uh, it looks pretty cool, so we will be doing that stuff before too long. Uh, but I want to do this. I've been really wanting to drive this train for a while. We got to release that. The sounds are pretty darn good on this train, I must say. I do like it. What a beautiful station. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. 1A on that train break there. Now, I did see that the, uh, the dovetail talked about that they're not happy with their peds, and it's something that they do want to completely redo from scratch. So that's good to hear that they have seen that. Sadly... Uh, we still don't have any rail driver support, which is really sad, but it is coming apparently. So there's that. I hope that is the case because that would be amazing. Train brakes all the way, baby. There you are. Open the doors, right? Take Those a are... quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. Okay, so from here, we how would you do that without actually, yeah, without looking outside, which we can do. And it appears to be good. It appears to be good, and we can unlock the doors. There we go. They're opening up. Oh, whoa! Dude just went straight in the door before it was even open. While the passengers are boarding, lock down this cab and change ends, and we'll be leaving the station the way we came in. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, shut down train. Press to apply the parking brake, which is over here. We know that. Got it. Uh, set the train brake to release. Uh, yep. There we go. And then you... Headlights go to dimmed. There we go. Reverser to off. And anything else? Change cabs. That was it. Okay. And we can just walk right through to do this one. Nice. Alright. Hello, how you doing? Hope you're uh, you're enjoying your uh, your ride today. I'll be uh, not back, but bye. I would almost feel like I would get sick of us, you know, facing that way and we're going backwards. With trains, that was something that I just never um, I never did. So uh, I have ridden like on Amtrak's and stuff. Okay, can we close these doors? Ah, whatever. What the? It doesn't look like you can open. You can close the doors after you open them. Maybe it just closes all the doors with that one thing. Whoa, those are nice. I haven't got to see any of this yet. Wow. Some nice cars on here. Here we go. Hello. Good afternoon. How you doing? Hello. Hello. All right. This way. Wow. This is insane. Oh, this is nice. We got a little bar area here. That's really cool. All right, around this way, be a diner's car or something here, because that would probably be where the person stands for that. Is that like a shower? It looks like a shower. I don't think it is, but dude, this is insane! How long this train is. It's cool though. Hello, hello. How you doing? Hello. All right. Move this door open. We are just going through this entire. Can we go in that? No, of course not. Hello. How you doing? Having a good one? Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like it. So we're in two now. So we're getting close. I can see the end is near. Open this one up. I'm just like running through this train. I'm late. I'm late for work. Just kidding. Okay. We finally made it back here. Wow. Hi. Okay. Why is there so much echo? It's like reverb. Whoa. 
That's weird. Yeah, there's a lot of reverb in there for no reason. But what do I know? Okay, same thing we did before. So, uh, reverser goes to forward. There we go. We know we got to do this guy. Panagraph, raise Stead you. On. Yeah, stood on, stood on. Whatever that means. Lock of the doors. Oh, that's so loud. Yikes. Whoa. Well, nice work. This train is now ready for service. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. Wonderful. What do we get? We get the gold. We got an achievement. Yeah, of course we got the gold. Why wouldn't we? Hello and ice to meet you. Get it? Yes. Ice to meet you. Funny. All right. Well, I think we're going to actually get to drive this thing at uh, some good speeds today. Welcome to that. You're assigned an ICE-17 service operating to there. Open the doors to commence boarding. All right. Doors are unlocked. Welcome aboard, everybody. Let's look at this thing. Oh, man. That's a good amount of people coming out of there. Whoa. Insta poppers. They're doing some insta popper stuff happening for sure. Oh, wow. I love the sounds. And that, uh, there's another train coming into the station now. That sounds so cool. And wait till 930. Well, that won't take very long. It's happening like now. So that'll work for me. Lock the doors. Uh, and I've noticed, yeah, if we're in the outside view, we don't have to hear that horrible beeping sound any longer. That is great, if you ask me. All right, doors are locked. Uh, set brakes to release and apply the power to get moving. All right, so this goes to release. And we apply our throttle at about 20, 28% or so. 9.2 kilometers. Go via location to 9.2 kilometers. Okay, so it looks like... We do have a speed limit here for now. A little bit more power. I'm gonna hit that horn. Woo! I haven't heard the horn of this thing yet. Somebody said that uh, they don't use horns, but why would they have them on the train? They didn't intend for them to be used sometime. That sounds cool. All right, we are departing. And uh, this is gonna be fun. We're actually gonna get a full run in here today. Yeah, slow down. Oh, that sound is awesome. Look how beautiful it is out here. Okay, let's put it at um, throttle to off so we're doing the coasting thing. We have our blind over us right there. You see, you can move it back if you'd like to, it looks like. Oh, you can put it down. Wow, look at that. Now it really looks like a spaceship. Well, it's cool, um, but... I'm going to put it back because I want us to um, enjoy the scenery, you know? Uh, I could see if there was like a huge, you know, if there was a lot of sunlight coming in, especially on a sunset or sunrise, that would be really helpful. Uh, so we're just maintaining about 40 kilometers an hour here. In 1.3 kilometers, we're going to get to a 120 zone. So that means we're going to get to go fast. Oh, nope. We jumped up right here. So. Go ahead and add a little bit more power. That's wonderful. Okay. Yeah, still getting these stutters. Still getting the stutters. And I have tried all the different um, graphics settings to try to stop that from happening. I don't know if it's something to do with uh, maybe because I have a G-Sync monitor. It could be shadow play. It could be anything or it could just be the game. I don't know. But regardless, it is kind of annoying once in a while you, whenever you just want to have a smooth experience, you know? All right, dude. We're moving pretty good here now. A little bit more power than that. I'm going to get it right up to that little red thing, and then we're just going to put it on, like, uh, minimum throttle or something here. There's another train. Very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and go down on our power here to about min. Let's see if it maintains that or if it speeds. We'll just keep an eye on the speed there, 99. That's pretty good for flat. Oh, and it just opened up to even more speed. Adding more power. 
I bet this looks awesome outside. Let's see uh, a flyby view. Whoa, yeah. That is amazing. That is really cool. All right, so we're slowly getting back up there. This is awesome. A little bit more power. I'm wondering if it has that speed limiter on it. Let's see if uh, it's going to go past or if it's going to hold at. Nope, it's definitely not going to do that. Okay, so we'll put it on minimum throttle. There we go. Oh, and look at that. We're clear up to 140 now. More power. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. Whoa, it's doing that thing where it does not like those. Good to know. Yeah, that's some weird little blurry thing happening there. Not sure what that's about. I saw that last time. Maybe it's just something to do with the motion blur. I don't know. Okay, so we're getting all the way up to 140. And this is a via location, so we don't have to stop uh, there at all. We just can blow right through there. As long as we're just maintaining what we should as far as speed goes, that's all that matters. Now, I haven't gotten used to the free camera enough like I did in the last Train Sim World where I could uh, get it to blitz it way ahead and get some cool flyby shots. So I'm still learning that. So keep that in mind. That's the reason why you're not seeing it today. Into a tunnel at 134 kilometers an hour. We can go a little bit more power on that. I have faith in this train. This is amazing. What a beautiful route, too. All right. Let's go ahead and pull this sucker back to about minimum throttle, which might hold us right at 140 there looking like it is driving under speed limit getting those uh those ap points except for we're one over now throttle off because we're going down a hill here i don't want to apply any brakes maybe we have to let's go into uh train 1a train brake 1a that'll slow her down there we go release it yeah, it's pretty easy to uh, to maintain the train. That's what I like to see. Okay, we can put our... Uh, let's put that blind down again so we look like a spaceship. It looks so cool. All right. 1.1 kilometers. Oh, we got to use that brake again. I'm going to go a little bit further down because we're 0 0.3 down right now. I'm going to go down about 138. There we go, and then release it. It should be okay. 400 meters. We're going to be blowing through here like crazy. Oh, we got to slow down big time. Oops. It's a 110 zone. My fault. Sorry. Wait? What are you talking about, wait? Um... Okay, so via location means something different now in this game. Before you just had it just meant you went through it. You didn't have to stop there. It didn't tell you to stop. Oh, we got absolutely destroyed on our frames too. Uh, go via lake. Okay, now it's fine. That made no sense. Okay, <laughs> not sure what that was about. Let's get the blind back up so we can actually see what we're doing. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, a little bit more power here. We'll get back up. 160 and 3.1 kilometers. So we'll be able to go fast again. 18 kilometers, though. That's a long way to go. So I'm fine with it. Okay. What do we got here? Gonna hit it? Not yet. It's just 800 meters to the, to the green signal. So they added uh, apparently new cloud layers or something like that. It looks the same to me from last time, in my opinion. All right, throttle off. Watch that speed. If it, yep, and a little bit of train brake to it. Let it do its thing. So they did that. Um, as far as routes go and as far as um, 
everything with the DLC goes, they are porting over the Train Sim uh, World 2020 stuff to this. So if you already own those DLC, you'll have them in this. So that's cool. I do like the, uh, the, that's actually really neat. Now I did get the deluxe version of this game and I'm wondering if I got cheated out on something because it came, maybe I paid for a DLC I already owned on the last one. It's kind of a confusing process, so none of that. Okay, yep. We're just maintaining our speed here, but hey, it it's sure beats doing 15 miles per hour in the yard. Am I right? Come on. It's much better. A bit more train brake than that. Oh, there's a crossing. Was it last time? Uh, in the last video, people were like, we don't have crossings. It's like, well, okay, well, we just went over one. <laughs> we just went over one. Okay. I don't know if they have any uh, crossing stuff they do on a horn. I don't know it very well. All right, so we are cleared up to 160, baby. Let's do it. All right. 60% power. And we're green signal all the way through here. We'll keep an eye out for speed limits. Let's go max power on this. I just want to see how fast this thing gets going here. There we go. Oh, we're going to blitz by this one at the speed. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and coast it. Yeah, we're getting big stutters now. Which is unfortunate whenever you're at this speed, you know? Oh, look at the countryside, though. This is starting to look really nice now. Beautiful. Okay. Any speed limits? Nope, we're good. We're holding about 160. There's 160 right there. And she's maintaining it pretty darn good. All right, now we got to be a badass and put our blind back down again because this train going this speed. That looks amazing. All right, keep an eye on that. Go to the outside view. Look at that. That is insane. It looks really good. Like real good. And that turn like that. A little blind. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so we are doing good. We got a little bit more power here. Throttle goes because we're going uphill now. And another green signal. Yeah, th these stutters are really annoying. Not sure why it's doing it. I mean, I know it's loading things in, but. Okay, minimum throttle for you. No speed limits yet. Still looking green. Yeah, we're technically under the speed limit. Another train coming down the line. Yep. That's what we that's what we were driving last time. That's just nuts. So how many of you guys uh, have seen these or have ridden these in real life? I know that, that uh, plenty of you have. This seems like it'd be such a neat experience. Almost as cool as flying, like, you know, going on a... Uh, a trip on one of these. This is the way to do it. Train brake one eight. At least that train brake. There we go. Yeah, this is amazing. Very impressed. Can't have this kind of performance in a train sim.
Uh, it could be one. What I'll do is at the very end, if I remember, I'll show you guys my, my graphics settings. Uh, and maybe there's something in there that's causing this little hiccup issue that maybe somebody else will know that I don't. That's always a possibility. Five kilometers out. And that's a via location, so we're not even stopping there. But I'm hoping we get on the part of the line that allows us to go over 200. That's what I'm hoping for. Because it's going to be crazy. Let's do a flyby now at 160. Absolutely crazy. That's awesome. Okay, four kilometers. Yeah, so go via location has always been you just go through the through it. You don't have to slow down for it, anything like that. Um especially when you look at your signals. Two hundred and three point three. Oh baby. We're gonna need to go fast on this thing. So we're going to get to that spot on the via location of, uh, there and then get to go even faster. So that's amazing. Yeah, I'm going to put the blind back up. I know mean, it looks cool, but you just see so much more of the scenery like this. But uh, there was one uh, discussion in the Steam discussions for this. Uh, somebody brought up a very valid thing, and that was, you know... It's been this many iterations of train sim world, train sim whatever, and we still don't have VR support for it. That's just, I don't get it, man. I don't know what they're doing, but this would be such a neat thing to do in VR. And I know about Derail Valley. I own it. I played it in VR. I played it in my free time, but it's not this, you know? All right, minimum throttle there. Go coast it. Throttle off. Well, let's see if they uh, get mad at us here for blowing through here. It's 160. <laughs> like you were supposed to wait instead of stop at location. There it is. Look at that. Opened up over to t up to 250. Woo! Yeah, wait. Till 9:46. No, we're not doing it. Let's do it. We're going up to 200, baby. Maximum throttle. <laughs> and then we get a 250. Yeah, 90 kilometers uh, to the next place. 250 and 2.1. This is what we've all been waiting for. This is what I've been excited for. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, put you a minimum throttle there, bud. That'll work. One kilometer until we get to open this baby up. So at 195, damn near 200, it looks like this going by. <laughs> and now it's going to go up even faster. Absolutely insane. There's the green. There they go. Here we go. 250, baby. Let's do it. Maximum throttle. Woohoo. Look at that. This is so cool. This is nuts. Now breaking distances and stuff have changed completely. It's taken a while for this thing to get up to 252 with max throttle. What does it look like out here? I bet it's nuts. Oh yeah. Look at that sleek. Sleek guy right there. Whoa. Hello. There we go. We're almost to 250 here. Let's go ahead and pull it back to minimum throttle. We got to hit 250 though. So come on a little bit more. And we got to see it at the bottom. There's 250 right there. Minimum throttle it is what it looks like. 250 going by. Boom. 
<laughs> oh, that's so cool. All right, now we're hauling the mail. Now we are train simming it up, folks. Okay, I'm in love with this train. This is my new train, favorite train. We're just getting nothing but AP points too for just being two kilometers under. A bit more power, we can get back up to 250. All right, it's another go via location. And we don't have to stop yet, so we're not going to. God, blowing past another one at 250. Whoa. Okay, that was cool. Highlight of the trip so far. Going by another ICE at 250 kilometers an hour. And these things can go faster. I know they can. But I don't think the line goes quicker than 250. This is amazing. I can't believe that this thing is going this fast and it's an electric train. More power here. There we go. Managing power pretty decently right now. But whenever you're at these speeds, you really got to pay attention to your speed zones coming up as it goes by fast. Whoom. See you, dude. power there. I'm trying to get to about 250 and hold. Green for a whole another kilometer. There's 250 again there. Hold it back. All right. They're going to be like, please wait. And they're like, no, we don't wait. Don't wait for nothing. I can't imagine a train going through a station like this at the speed, though. If you were like on the platform seeing that. That has got to be so cool. Our is stopping at our destination in 17 kilometers. All right, are they going to give us any more speed or this is going to be pretty much it for us? Uh, that's what it's looking like. I know we're gonna have to start slowing down like five kilometers out for this thing. Which honestly, it's gonna be a big station. I bet you we're gonna have speed zones to slow us down for that anyway. We won't even have to worry about it. I bet you, bet you. Yep, still get, getting a ton of AP right now. And green, still green. All the way down the line. The power back to about 29%. A little bit more or less than that. I know we're only doing two over the limit. It's not so bad. If it goes up to three, we'll apply brakes. No, oh, there it is. That's a little bit of brake, not a whole lot. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, release that there. Have a look outside. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Yeah, I still stuttered even in the outside view. 
it's not just the inside view. Throttle set to min. We're just trying to maintain our speed we're supposed to be at, so. This is insane. I'm just letting you listen to the sounds of the train sim. Actually. This isn't a bad sound set for this thing. I've heard way less quality in, in some DLCs. Uh, 1.5 to 160, so let's go and start slowing her down. More brakes than that. Ooh, it's going to be fast. I mean, a lot more train brake than that, bud. Yep. We we were speeding big time on that one. And that's okay. I wasn't sure how far out I needed it to be to get to that speed even. So now we know that we have to be a lot better about that. That happens. We're okay. And it's 70 and 1.9, so we might as well just start slowing it down even more. Slow through here. Okay, now the train brakes are doing really good. There we go. Wow, what a rush that is to be driving this thing at 250 kilometers an hour. That's just insane. Absolutely insane. Slow down even more, bud. Down to 70. Actually, not too bad at all. And 400 meters to spare on that one. Woo! Well, that's how you get from point A to point B. I can tell you that right now. And we're going to be going downhill, it looks like, here a little bit. So I'll just keep it off for now. There's seven for the 70 zone. Boom. We're right on the money. I don't need accolades. I know. We screwed the last one up. Okay. Well, now it's 60 and 70, so we're 700 kilometers. Not, yeah, not kilometers, meters. There we go. Well, we made it, folks. Look at how beautiful this is. This is really nice. A cathedral or a castle or something in front of us? More power than that. There we go, bud. Well, there's another ICE here. Yeah, that out there looks like a cathedral. And now we can coast. Those are like tan cars. Whoa, that's weird. Okay. It was like different colored cars on that thing. And then it really started glitching out. Okay, so 160 in a little bit here. So they just have a slow... They just slowed us down for this. Weird. Okay, now it's 40. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? Okay, slow her down. Well, we've seen this. This is part of the introduction. There we go. Yeah, so I believe this is Cologne. Is where we are located right now. And we have a red signal up ahead at 600 meters, but we're stopping up here anyway, so it works out for everybody involved. Cutting across the line. 
Well, that was a neat trip. I've been really looking forward to driving this train. It's a shame we're getting these graphical glitches and stutters and nonsense. I, I gotta say, it's 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 not running great. Slow you down. Oh, that sound was awesome. Not like a dying dolphin. There we go. Slow, slow, slow. Let's try to get a good stop. Got to redeem ourselves. We made that one boo-boo for the speed. But all in all, I wasn't so bad. Full application. Hit it. All right. Unlock the doors. You people can get off our train. Thank you so much for choosing the service today. We hope to see you soon. And it doesn't look like anybody's getting off the train. That's not right. Why? Why are people not getting off the train? The doors are open. Get off the train. Oh, we're loading passengers, not unloading. I see. Oh, they're going to have us continue on from here. All right, there we go. Thank you for completing this run. Let's see how you performed. Well, we did good except for that one spot, but I guarantee we're going to get a gold on this. I think we will at least. Please give us a gold. Okay. You going to show us the stuff or no, not, not going to do it yet. What the hell is going on? Okay. There it goes. It was taking forever. Uh, what do we get? Total score. Yes. We got gold. You better believe it. Only sped in that one spot right there. You see, unfortunate, um, but everything else pretty darn decent all the way getting going. Uh, so that was a total of, uh, 69 kilometers, almost 70. Uh, it took 31 minutes for that. Very nice. All right. Well, um, maybe I'll, I don't know if I'll clip out the beginning or not. Let's go back and I'll show you my, uh, graphic settings so we can see if, um, if I'm missing something. All right. So under screen, we've got, uh, the ultra graphics preset. So we'll go into advanced settings here. Um, screen percentage, all that. V-Sync I have turned off. Anti-aliasing TAA. Uh, foliage is ultra. Maybe that's killing it. Uh, shadow quality is high. Effect quality is high. Post-process quality is ultra. View distance quality is ultra. Texture quality is ultra. Unlimited uh, frames and motion blurs on. Maybe motion blur is a problem. I don't know. I'll have to mess around with it uh, and see if I can get something better. But if you know, be sure to let me know in the comments below. But that's going to do it for today. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Take care.